Good morning, and it's Thursday morning. I'm sat outside in the front of the house. It's cool this morning out here. There's a breeze blowing and the clouds are looking on, ominous and the house is like a little hot box. So I thought I'd sit out in the garden with a cup of tea this morning out in the front and uh, just say hello to you and see how you are this morning. We're up early today and there's a little tension in our house. Uh, the reason being that we are expecting A-level results this morning and I'm sure you have seen the controversy across the news about the way the different uh, parts of the UK are deciding their A-level results. In Wales we've gone for a very simple, very safe method and we're very glad that our children have external uh, exams for their, uh, what, what I called lower sixth, they call year 12 first year of sixth form anyway they've got a, a midway external exam that they sit for their A-levels which is going to make assessing their grades so much better. But anyway we have that, that tension this morning to see whether child four will be going off to the university of his choice we will find out very soon. Um, ooh, wind is catching up I hope that doesn't affect the sound too much. I started to think about my A-level results and I, I don't know if you can remember that your uh, last academic achievement car see it's real life isn't it I don't know if you can remember your last academic achievement and how waiting for the result of that was uh, all-consuming and that moment in time felt like the most important thing in the world and of course at that moment it is my A-levels were you know a, a real turning point I didn't get my grades it was catastrophic briefly didn't stop me going where I wanted or doing what I wanted to do but um, you know for that little moment we are fully defined by whatever it is we are waiting to get results on that's a tough call isn't it and of course every generation does it year on year on year we know that this is what our young people are doing and some of our older people and uh, you know how I went back to college three years ago went to theological college four years ago went to theological college and studied again and my grades mattered other things matter too don't they we are very quick to define ourselves by these snapshot moments perhaps there are things that we define ourselves by that are not so positive or not so encouraging or not so hopeful I think human nature sometimes we get stuck in things that we we should let go of one of the things about being Christian and about our loving God is that he doesn't hold on to the things that don't need to be held on to if we've made mistakes in the past or if things haven't gone right they're not held against us they're ticked off and they're marked and then they're set aside because we are promised that we are loved unconditionally we are told that we are forgiven it's really hard to believe sometimes isn't it our young people are finding it very hard at the moment to believe that they won't be defined forever by the grades they receive today and we're at a mismatch with God then, because our God promises us that we are forgiven and that we are enough. And we don't do it for ourselves. I see so many people who I know are loved by God and forgiven by God, but who cannot forgive themselves. How can we be tougher on ourselves than God is on us? That's not right, is it? <laughs> and what a bizarre angle this little chat has gone to from thinking about our young people and their A-level grades today. Do you know what? Whatever it is that you won't let go of and that you give yourself a hard time over, God doesn't do that. God's forgiven you. You've got to forgive yourself. Woohoo! That's a tough one. A really hard thing to do. But it's not impossible. And my prayer for you today is that uh, you learn how to forgive yourself and how you learn and that you learn how to trust that God is all loving. Have a
Hey, only three cars went past in five minutes. That's not bad, is it? Good luck to everybody today who is expecting their exam results. And uh, we look forward to hearing your next steps and choices, whatever they are. Have a good day, everybody. Let's hope the rain comes and cools us down a little bit, but it's not dangerous or difficult. And uh, I shall talk to you again soon. Lots of love. God bless. Bye bye.